5 star 660 butt cat with two 104 stroke your mass on the back is floating lots of sand build up there in the estuary mouth one of the whale boats is going to launch today Current running in the estuary channel. It's in the white water there in the Rose Bowl, but the Rose Bowl is not big, but it's the Makar, it's a washing machine. Well navigated, Baron. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. That's a push for wave dancer. 930 butt cat, two 200 four stroke Suzuki's on the outbounds, bringing the boat in just under 10 meters. Leon Stein, the skipper. Charter fishing operation here with five star. You can book them there at the engine garage. Coming up the channel. Floating beautifully. Running nicely there, Leon. I'm concentrating so much to keep the boat in frame that I forget my commentary. But there's not much to comment anyway when the wind. Leon is going to run a little bit north. He's waiting in that channel over there. There's a gap on his right hand side. He's just waiting for the seas to wash through. There's the gap right over there. If he runs further north, it's going to become a difficult launch for him. He's now first cleaning windows, he can't see the gap on his right hand side. The overspray fogged up the windows, he's going to run further north. Yo! <laughs> That's going to become a difficult launch now. A lot of white foam to deal with. Over some big sets washing into the gully where Leon is lying down up now. We're running there for the mid break, the 45 to the south. A lot of white water bashing through, big one on his shoulder, another big one on his shoulder, big one right in front of him, but there's a gap to the right. Well done, Leon. 
Happy hunting, enjoy the day. And that's the 9 meter bin cat being pushed. T250 four stroke V6s on the back. Very wide boat, floating very nicely. Coming onto the plane, just trotting along at the moment. <coughs> Both planes very, very quickly at a very comfortable low speed. Yes, Asian commotion arriving as well behind us. Sean is holding back there. He's going to go through Rose Bowl. But it opens up 45 to the south if you go through Rose Bowl this morning. It's very, very shallow to the north at the moment. You'd rather go and ride the speed bumps at the slow speed before you come to the road pole. Ah, before you come north, I mean. You go through the road riding speed pumps at a very slow speed, up and over, before you come north. It's very, very shallow north. But that's tidal dependent. It changes every 15 minutes. Turning around, found his gap. Just turning back into it. Oh, the rose ball is challenging this morning, my friend. Oh, the tide is taking him. He's now right into the tide. The rip current of the outgoing tide has caught him. Gonna run north. It's uncomfortable there in the rip current. Oh, there's big ones coming through the, from the north now. Now it's opening up here to the 
the sound that guy. He's gonna have to push hard and then turn 45 south. But it looks pretty shallow on that bank over there. Going to look for his gap up north where it looks much more difficult from where I'm standing. Still hanging there in the surf zone. A lot of white foam washing through. There's a flat, he's gonna make a run for it now. Well done Sean, that was a beautiful executed. Happy well watching, enjoy the trip. 830 butt cat two, 200 four stroke <coughs> Suzuki's on the back that boat's weight is perfectly balanced it can cut through a wave and turn on a dime like a deep V like a Icecraft deep V that is absolutely a perfect hull design that 830 butt cats not very wet on the ocean as well Coming up north, I mean coming up east. Difficult launch here through Rose Bowl this morning. Where is he gonna run to? He's gonna skip the sandbag. That is a difficult launch. But he knows his boat, he does that maneuver very often. Look at that boat slicing through those white foamies. It's an incredible. That's an incredible whole design. Big one standing up at the front. Where's the boat? Where's the boat? I lost the boat in my viewfinder. There it is. Up and over. Happy well watching, enjoy the trip. And that's a first for ocean commotion. Skipper Dylan the Decant.
coming up the channel. in the windows once again a little bit of spray over <coughs> when you have to run into the sun get out of the way Dylan there's a flat run Stewart I'm not going to get a second chance it's so flat at the moment it's unbelievable Go steward and then you turn 45 south. No, now it's closing up. You're too late. Now it's closing up. minutes 34 seconds now the gap is here to the left to the right again 45 to the right some nasty watch washing through this over the sandbar there in front of Stewart
you are still hanging back. It's in a difficult situation there. He can't turn the big boat and the speed pumps is all on top of him. He has to ride them out and hope that one of them doesn't turn him a little bit broadside. He's pushing right into them now. He's a little bit stuck on the sand there but he's over the sand bank, he's into the open ocean. Last one. Well done, Stuart. Beautiful launch, my friend. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day.